The Ishango bone is a bone tool which has been dated to the Upper Paleolithic era, which lasted between 18,000 and 20,000 BC. The Ishango bone was discovered on the border between modern-day Uganda and the Democratic Republic of Congo. The Ishango bone is dark brown with a sharp piece of quartz fixed to one end of it. Some researchers believe that the quartz was used to engrave markings on the bone. What is the significance of this bone, which represents the earliest form of mathematical calculations found anywhere in the world? Welcome to the Sankofa Pan-African series. Please support us through Patreon and by buying me coffee so we can continue to bring you this series. Subscribe and turn on your notification button if you haven't done so. Uh, so you know when we have new episodes. And of course, share our videos with all your contacts. The Ishango bone was found in 1950 by a Belgian who was exploring what was then the Belgian Congo. The bone was found in the area known as Ishango, which had its center near the headwater of the Nile River at Lake Edward, which, as I said earlier, is now in an area at the border between Uganda and the Democratic Republic of Congo. The significance of the Ishango bone is that it points to the population of the Ishango lakeside area of 20,000 years ago as the first society on record to have practiced the act of mathematical calculation. Unfortunately, it is believed that the community was wiped out by volcanic eruption. Thankfully, the bone was preserved enough where it was buried to bear witness to the ingenuity of the people who lived there before the eruption. Actually, an even older bone with markings has also been found in the southern part of Africa. The Lebombo bone, another significant find, has been dated to between 44,200 and 43,000 years ago. And this makes it much older than the Ishango bone, with uh, which it is sometimes confused. They are two different bones. The Lebombo bone is a bone tool that was made out of the fibula bone of a baboon. And it was discovered in the Lebombo Mountains, located between, between South Africa and Eswatini. The markings on the Lebombo bone has different sections with notches, which some scientists claim uh, like other uh, markings are like other markings found around the world, which were probably made um, during participation in rituals. According to the Universal Book of Mathematics, the 29 notches on the Lebombo bone suggest that it may have been used as a lunar face counter, in which case African women may have been the first mathematicians because keeping track of menstrual circles requires a lunar calendar. However, because the Lebombo bone is broken at one end, there are doubts whether or not the 29 notches are the total number that were etched into it originally. Again, while other bones found in other parts of the world have notches, there has been no consistent notch tally. Many of them only have notches ranging in number between 1 and 10. 
Now, the Ishango bone, on the other hand, is most significant because of the uniqueness of the markings on it. When it was first discovered, it was assumed that it was an ordinary tallying stick like others found globally because of its series of tally marks carved in three columns that run along its length. However, scientists who studied it now believe that the groupings of notches on uh, the shango bone indicate a mathematical understanding that goes beyond counting or tallying like those on similar bones found globally. It is believed that the three columns of asymmetrical grouped notches found on the Ishango bone imply that it was more functional than decorative and, um, and that the groupings were used to construct a number system. Now, the, the central column on the Shango bone begins with three notches, which then double to six. The doubling process is repeated for the number four, which doubles to eight, and then reversed for the number 10, which is halved to five notches. Now, the way these numbers are doubled or halved indicates that they are not random numbers, but rather they indicate some understanding of the principles of multiplication and division by two. As such, the bone may have been used as a counting tool for mathematical procedures. The number of notches on either side of the uh, central uh, column of the bone also indicates even more counting prowess. The numbers on the left and the right uh, columns are all odd numbers. 9, um, 11, 13, 17, 19, and 21. While the numbers in the left column are all prime numbers between 10 and 20, which form a prime quadruplet. While those in the right column consist of 10 plus 1, 10 minus 1, 20 plus 1, and 20 minus 1. The numbers on each side column add up to 60 while the numbers in the central column add up to 48. Both of these numbers are multiples of 12, which also suggests an advanced understanding of multiplication and division. Unfortunately, the Ishango bone is yet another African artifact that is still being held captive abroad. It is at the Royal Belgian Institute of Natural Sciences in Brussels, Belgium. Thanks for watching. Please support us through Patreon and by buying me coffee so we can continue to bring you the series. Subscribe and turn on your notification buttons. And uh, don't forget to share our videos with all your contacts. And please, please, please keep those comments coming.